what's up guys in welcome to the next episode of my empire total war let's play as venice and in this episode we are continuing order 66 with the capture of the savoyard capital here at turin and i just want to make sure we don't really have any artillery or anything useless coming in uh, right off the bat if we can let's get marines and pikemen something like that uh, but yeah, it shouldn't be much of a trouble. The uh, reinforcing armies, I mean, one of them's knackered, the other one's in reasonably good shape. Uh, however, we don't really care about those, except maybe this one, because they are behind us, but they are the, the weak one. Um, but yes, let's attack Turin. So, like we've shown before, the real key is to make sure that you can get into the city from as many points as, as you can at once, so that you can capture any gatehouses so that the AI is really kind of screwed when it comes to trying to get into the city. They end up needing to go for your your breaches, which you've hopefully got covered with your own infantry and artillery. I mean, in this case, I suppose in this case, because my the enemy should be coming in from the rear left. We want to go right. So we want to go over here. These just to keep the guns protected. Ooh, nope, don't want to select all of you. Okay, howitzers set up. So this component's going to go after a breach. This component's going to try and flank from all the way over here. Just make sure they're all hidden so they don't get shot at by artillery. General and friends, just chill out. So I can't quick climb, I can't quick climb the center. I can round shot it though. I might just do that. Get some shells in the centre, especially when it looks like we are going to make a real meal of this section of the wall quite quickly. Although one of you might continue to quick climb just to try to thin the enemy out. But yeah, you want to make might make two breaches. Two, two howitzers plus two 24 pounders focus on that other breach. My heavy horse artillery focus on the this breach here. Which you might have to give a bit of help. Well, I wonder if we do this correctly, might we be able to trap most of their army up on the wall? Honestly, not because you guys have. No, you are firing, but you're firing at. Firing at the center rather than the. the wall, which I've got you trained on. Yeah, they don't like it when I speed up time. Retarget. Get one unit of artillery to engage that section of the wall. Heavy horse guard artillery. And everybody else go after this section. Actually, you all might go for it, except one house unit. You all go for this unit. This section of the wall.
shooting. Ninety-three, ninety-six. Might get okay. One last shot away. Yes. Many dead. Many dead Savoyards. There you go. Now they can shoot at whatever they like. All my artillery is attacking the cavalry in the centre, which is awesome. Okay, my assault companies get up here. My flank companies get up here. But yeah, my foot artillery is all in. Some so some I like I wouldn't be able to manually target them to do this, but sometimes they can just fire at will onto them. It's bizarre. You know how to think of it as a bonus. Let's try quick climb. A couple of these units. Okay, they fired once. If I do halt, fire will again. Will they? Will that start up the logic again? So he fired one massive broadside and that was it. Okay, so unit of marines defends the gatehouse. This unit of marines captures the gatehouse. You capture here. Real mercenaries capture there. You capture the gatehouse. You defend the gatehouse. And you here. Yeah. So let's focus our quick climb onto this unit on top of the wall. The more we can thin them out, the more our assault companies can actually capture it. Mortars are firing on my flankers, but that's okay. Foot artillery bombarding this breach. There you, go. you men drop into square, although that's probably not going to be enough. That's, that's what I wanted. You just drop into square. Marines to scale the wall. Horse up here. You men are actually going to defend the breach. Yeah, poor skirmishers. Get my infantry in, that'll help. You men stay in square.
good. Quick line. Engage. These poor souls on the, on the uh, on the, I was about to say the base of the fort. Okay, you men scale the walls because you're skirmishers. You men try and capture the gate. Just let everybody get up here. Okay, they don't want to attack these guys. What if I just make them run into them? But these marines have not worked out how to scale the walls, so they have to climb up the walls. Okay, marines, get in here. Sixty-six of you. Push in. Attack the center. Okay, I think having you guys in here will just do more harm than good. In retrospect. Okay, there's enemy reinforcements coming in. So if these guys don't get in in the fort quickly, they could be in trouble. So let's just make sure they run in. Okay, let's get these guerrilla mercenaries over here. You kill them, you're killing them. Okay, the new man. You can get to that section. General's bodyguard, just try to get in here. All my artillery engage. Use a provincial cab. Okay, regiment of line, hold, hold the center. Marines get into this fight here. Abjur. Why 
push forward, man. They really don't want to give up. I guess it's because of these guys. Let's give them authority to engage with round shots. There you go. They've been repulsed by my skirmishers. The infantry is desperately trying to get in and help, but it's not going to work. My artillery is beginning to engage uh, the next unit of Provincial Curve. So I'm starting to try to hit these guys a round shot just to see if I can upset them enough. Some of my marines are stuck in the wall. general in. You kill them, you kill them. And you men, get up here. Oh, heavy cavalry stood outside. Well, if you want to have a go, have a go. Oh, that's not... <laughs> You're too late. <laughs> Far too late. The city is taken. So that's the Savoy capital dealt with. Doesn't matter about them because imminently, well, let's repair the government building, replenish the troops. Let's not do anything here yet because we still have Tripoli to take. So let's take Tripoli. They have mortars, but they have no reinforcements. This army, this army will probably push east across North Africa once they've taken Tripoli and then towards the Middle East and down through uh, India when the time comes. Everybody else, they're going to gather in Western France. That is my Indian assault force. It's going to be prepared. got riflemen in this army. I think it's the first action we've had dual riflemen. Looking glorious as ever with their plumes. Excellent. Really good, really good Italian heritage there. Okay, get set up. Engage. Yeah, just let them let my house fire around shot. Just they'll just keep bombarding the center. Well, actually, they're very in range with. I was about to say they're very in range with round shot. They might be in range of quick line, but sadly not. Engage the cavalry. So we're going to knock down. Oh, we're just going to make multiple breaches. Although they don't like aiming at corner pieces. Yeah, lots of the shots are just missing. Oh, you're abandoning the armory because it's quite badly damaged. We're not going to try to trap anybody this time. Good hit with the quick line, but God, yeah, it takes a long time to knock these corner pieces down. Some of the misses are actually hitting the 36th regiment to the rear. Seventy-four percent. Ninety percent. I mean, I know there are only twelve. Pa well, I suppose they are only twelve pounders, and these are improved fortifications, so can't be too surprised. Although, because they've opened themselves up, I might actually do just what I said I wasn't going to do.
Although 50% we won't destroy the walkways. It's not how it works. That on enhanced levels of, of uh, fort building. Get right there. There's no point trying to trying to um, trap anybody because it's they are all suitably trapped. In a fort of their own making. Everybody advance. Start hammering the area with quicklime. So we aim at this unit. So hopefully the area of effect hits that cavalry plus the unit behind. See, you all might aim at that section there, actually, because that is a whopping big target. So we're going to start getting the mortars firing soon. Okay, so the riflemen are going to be up here firing into the settlement over the heads of my infantry. This infantry is going to form a offensive position. You guys are going to bottle up this flank. Something like so ish. So then you men run to the gate. African infantry guards are going to capture it. Sorry, that was a sneeze. Right. So when my African troops scale the walls, that's going to make the enemy very upset. And my thoughts are just keep bombarding the area because it looks like we are having the desired effect. They won't be trapped up here because they have um, the hooks. Oh no, not you guys, sorry. Scale the walls and get up into a good position, start engaging them with musketry. Just out of my rifle range. two infantrymen right here. So they're shooting at my light cavalry, which is entirely acceptable. Square just to bog them down, another unit push in. The riflemen are just absolutely shredding them. As soon as they come close, they're just getting picked apart by glorious skirmish fire, plus a couple of units of volleys. Right, what's 
basically squares and squares collapsed, so just keep attacking. Probably starting to get you guys in. Yes. Looking at your guards, you are not following my instructions. Okay, there's enough of our guys here, they should be able to get up and out. Okay, right from them, ceasefire. Throw my men in. Because they're starting to actually attack. Um, starting to actually attack my assault troops. So my light cavalry is going to go, oh hey, nice to see you. But uh, you know what? We like the look of those artillery units back here. My infantry will cut the light cavalry down to size. They're aware of the threat. There we go. Now we're dragging them back into combat. Nice mortars you've got here. Shame if somebody killed the crews. There we go. The enemy is broken. So ends your a brief colonial empire, Savoy. Let's get out of here. That is everybody, right? Yes, it is. Good, 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 good. Another faction ticked off from the Order 66. Okay, you want to take a bit of time to get hold of get control of this territory you men replenish let's take this galley out to cert exempt the territory from tax so Turin is also unhappy okay let's get our ports occupied just in case Bunch of force that a bunch of first rates not doing much of anything there. Uh, this army it's in great shape, except for the units that aren't, obviously. They can push towards the Italian border. Um, because I think we are in a position where we want to because we are at war with the Italian states. We need to bring war to the Italian heartland and reclaim our rightful spot as the true sons of Rome, kind of, even though we are different. Right. <laughs> Baldassare Goldoni. Prepare to be eaten by Marco Pace. But then, yeah, this will be a really big step forward. After uh, we have knocked out on our enemies in colonial Europe, because then we're storming through America really quite well. We are. Well, and we're getting our naval preparations underway to dominate the Mughal coastline. So the enemy has lots of artillery of their own, but they are bad guns. I am inclined to let my artillery shoot at their own targets. Because otherwise, we will just let them shoot the artillery. We are going to attack quite aggressively. Sharpshooters and friends on one flank. Riflemen and heavy cavalry on the other. Wow, yes, we are going to advance quite rapidly. They're going to be shrapnel shotting like hell. It's pretty speaking the best thing to do, I think, to get, out, to get rid of entrenched units with my how it says is to quick line them but I think they might they might focus on targets to the rear to help my to help my infantry get up into musket range well they might not have shrapnel shot to be honest 
pull off a large flanking maneuver. My sharpshooter is going to get a volley off into the regiment of horse. Shoots them. Too bad. Bring in my heavy cavalry to attack the regiment of horse. The skirmishers. The skirmishers occupy those ruins. There we go. Now we're going to start getting the fly by rank going. We're going to start taking out some of these gun positions. So let's just target them. Some of their enemy units with artillery. Building. Come on, die, you regiment of horse, die! Cressier, charge onwards, Caravina, move out. Cavalry. They broke. They got through one of my squares. Make ready. Let's just even shoot them. Okay, we'll put a volley into them. But I think that might have done more damage to us. Cavalry blitz through. Engage those demi cannons, sharp shooters. They dug in, but not going to help them. Get all my artillery to engage here. They're engaging my artillery, counter battery, which is. the point blank range. You guys like this. My heavy cavalry get out of the way. Killed the enemy general sir. Infantry just push up. Pull my cavalry back. Get my carabiner in position. Ready to shoot. Get my oh, my heavy cavalry took a few shots there. Looks like we're going like to start scrapping with the enemy skirmish cow. No, they want to have a go. In which case, all this artillery fire is a very bad idea. Send some infantry in to bog them down. Attack them. There you go. It probably is worthwhile carrying on. Make sure the artillery is not shooting. Just because they do have lots of rubbish. Okay, 
push forward. Kill the last of this infantry unit. Can you both attack the 19th regiment? Everybody attack the 19th regiment, but it's not going to be enough. Oh, wait. face execute the gunners shoot them okay you're not gonna oh you're gonna they're going to charge into the actual gun itself rather than chasing after him, because that's... Ugh. Stupid is what that is. Bring my general over here. But they are going to escape, because for whatever reason they elect to charge the cannons when, they, when the guy is right here. You'll win this time, 22nd Regiment of Artillery. But that's the first hit with one of our armies. Good, you men replenish. Signore. Nicoli, push forward. They're not in range to attack the city yet, but they might. Altri ordini? attack us next turn, in which case well, this force is just acting as a bit of a defence of Naples, should they try and attack us. Then you're moving in. Okay, that's that's that done. Um, do any of you guys leave your garrisons yet? You can leave Alsace-Lorraine and we have bugged cavalry and general staff. Awesome. Okay. You men are going to gather You won't be able to leave Stuttgart yet. You were going to go to the Middle East. But you are going to gather in India as well. Gather in, gather in um, Europe as well. Okay, this force is ready. But because we're not going to attack Army. India yet, I am happy just let these guys run up to my gathering position. A lot of these armies are going to be um, occupied for quite some time. Yeah, Hungary. Are we actually using it? Heidelberg, Verona. Let's get rid of that. Durban we're getting rid of, Heidelberg getting rid of, Verona we're getting rid of. Oh no, I'm an idiot, not Verona, Verona's ours. Verona has no technologies to research. Very well, I s actually well then in which case you know what, Verona we might get rid of you because we've researched all of the one university technologies, we don't really need you anymore. We've learnt everything there is to learn. That's that. Okay. Forces are continuing to muster. Let's. Continue to grow our strength. 
Okay, so really this is the last of the Dagestan allies in Europe we need to worry about. Uh, you are going to attack Santa Fe. You can, if you, if they can, no, I don't think they can deal with it. I was going to say they could in future move up to Texas quite quickly. But you might do that. Actually, they're only two turns away. And they can handle it because they're a former Catholic state. They will take Texas and then come back here to the north. You can just go and attack Yankton. Ah, uh, yes. Let's attack Quebec. Benoit Molière. Uh, yep. Let's go for Quebec. This was another um, Dagestan protectorate, and the Inuit is still a protectorate, but um, we will we don't have to worry about them immediately. Uh, we will deal with them as and when. Uh, right now, if we can just take Quebec and start to build up our military production, we'll have plenty of armies here to invade the 13 colonies and capture them. Uh, but I, th I think now we've got New Andalusia and we will have Quebec. That's plenty of production in this continent. Okay, let's drop the guns. Let's get howitzers up and firing. Take the risk of being engaged. Nice wide infantry line. They don't actually have any mortars. They got one foot artillery unit, demi cannons. Okay, just try to kill their general. Once we make our breach, we will attack. But there, they've got a very, very flimsy army right now. Volley of quicklime coming in. Are you not shooting? You've decided because I spent up time, they both decided actually we don't really want to do that type of thing anymore. Quick climb away. Sorry, General. Your European allies have betrayed you. Ah, what the hell. It's probably just like one of the guns to shoot at something else. Dirty. Alright, we can probably shoot at something else not the general right now. The Swiss plaquemen are going to clear away through the breach. Do you guys have, you don't even have bayonets. We are going to swarm this puny fortress. Okay, the good breach is nearly made. Oh, poor militia unit. You forward absolutely overwhelm that unit on the wall they will have nothing Okay, 99. From 
more. Uh, yeah. Gunners engage this section here, just so they don't man the fire step. Sharpshooters don't really have a role unless these men abandon the walls, in which case they might probably get up here. Let's try it. Okay, now it's a switched around shot. Thank the general in the centre. Attacking, so they they are. Back. What are you guys doing? Kill them. I'm trying to engage that line infantry unit. Try a whiskey, a risky quick line. Anyway, if I aim right there, the line of fire should go boom. Let's test it out. I should have avoid my the bulk of my pikemen. It's pretty darn effective. Let's thin them out. See if there's enough mass for my cavalry to just run through. We've now abandoned garrisoning the wall to defend the breach, which was the which is the right decision. Take the second Quebec regiment. See if I can drag my cavalry through. Keep pushing, man. Keep pushing. Just keep giving them orders and I'll slowly shuffle forward a little bit more. It's enough of a critical mass. Gets through. You men mob that on citizenry unit. Go. The fifth old guards, Cursier. Screw you, General. Charge straight into him. He's immediately fighting two of my heavy cavalry. He's fighting quite well. Does not want to be here, though. He's surrounded. He's been, he knows my cavalry's been tanked, so he's withdrawn. Right? And he's broken. You men 
annihilate that unit as it retreats through you. The enemy general's been killed. These guys are going to do the same. They're going to kill a lot of these Quebecois troops. But the fortress is taken. It is over. Good, good. Okay, get this port garrisoned. Get this city rebuilt. Well, here's one. Can we leave you? We can. Okay, let's get better roads. I mean, the first thing we're going to do, because we are benevolent colonials, is immediately do a whole load of investment. So we can attack the Iroquois Confederacy. Once this area is tidied up, we'll attack Upper Louisiana. If we can almost surround the 13 colonies from the interior, then we'll push in. But yeah, if we generate some troops at Quebec, we can attack... Um, to the center of gravity over 13 colonies in the north other than that um you're recruiting your army oh yeah this has been one long turn okay, everyone's recruitment's still ongoing let's sit and turn Yeah, New Spain's panicking. They're trying to find the most effective place to blockade my army. Persian fleets are on the move. The Mughals presumably expect something. <laughs> That's a really terrible assaulting army. I mean, they're going to make lots of breaches. But then that means that when these guys die, they're going to come in like they're only ever going to have one, two, three, five, eight attacking units, in which case this will be fine. And we do have our reinforcing army coming in as well, which we may not need. But yeah, let's just assume that they're going to breach the walls immediately. So my... the walls are going to be garrisoned by Biolock Armed Citizenry. And we're probably going to want to keep their artillery in line for as long as possible, really. Okay, so... Mortars sit in the centre. Biolock Armed Citizenry. Garrison the walls that are likely to be shot to pieces first. And then just add conscripts everywhere. Because we've got so many men. We can afford to just throw them down. Because my line and garrison line are a perfectly adequate force to, to control any breaches. And we've still got a load of extra infantry. So it's really good. If you guys don't move your artillery, those might be useless. Yeah, that's an enormous Italian gun line. So they're going to breach this section of the wall first, and they're probably going to breach this section at some stage. So let's... Something like this. Something like that. Keep you guys free. Conscripts to occupy both of these buildings and fire it well off. So they've made they are gonna make their breach. I imagine this sec this section of the wall, if these guys unless these guys just can't hit us, which is possible. Yeah, they 
might not be able to hit us. One of their assaulting units is going to be pushed back. Musket fire will make the retreat. There they go. Okay, good. For a second now, I thought, don't let them. So they don't let them capture the walls. Holy no. Shattered. Shattered. Routing. Partly why we've got um, my low quality units defending the walls. Fire. We don't even have any cavalry to um, I'll make sure both these units are guard mode on. Let's at least try and save some of you. You still want some, but you want them to make it worthwhile to shoot at. So you need to be back here. In that case. And hold the wall, you're okay. They're going to work on this section. Oops. Are they? They aren't within. They aren't in round shot range, sadly. Slowly creeping forward there. One unit here. Just keep shooting at the the enemy artillery. They are shattered, which is great. Yeah, we go. Now they're aiming at that section. So then we want. These guys are kind of these aren't these really aren't ideal because I can shoot across and kill my own guys. That's part of the problem with these men. So that's why they're gonna be They're gonna be fireable off until like emergency time. Just chase after them a bit while they're Speed up. <laughs> Increase time compression. Okay, there we go. Man your guns. There it goes. Now we can actually shoot at their um, artillery pieces with ours, as long as our wall survives, which it will not for long. There we go. We've beaten the regiment of horse. It's such a weird attack. You men just keep servicing your guns, and every so often we'll get a lucky hit. T 
Who are they shooting at otherwise? That section's at 11%, zero, zero. Yeah, but cavalry can't come in, so we don't care about what the cavalry's doing. None of, most of these guns can't shoot because they're all in each other's way. It's only that gun at the front. Even then, they can't hit us because they're hitting that area ahead of us. My guns to fire at will. Trying to find a way in. Now I'm now starting to aim at that important section of wall. I wonder if a lot of these can actually hit us. They probably can. Well, some are actually a bit bugged out. Some of them are hitting the walls. Oh, hello. Shoot into the rear. See, this is what's really handy is the unit will man the inner fire step and fire into the centre of the city as well when they've got targets. Same as up here. Right, these men are officially trapped. Which isn't a huge problem. Oh no, they aren't trapped because the enemy's added um, grappling. Hooks. They've assaulted the walls, they actually do have a way down. Nice, okay, let's speed up time then. Okay, here comes the actual reinforcements. Killed two of my howitzers. Open fire. Back you men go. Okay, that's one one unit of infantry gone. So now who are you gonna, what are you gonna shoot at? Are you gonna shoot at this section? That would make sense, but there's a limit. Eleven percent, twenty percent, fourth regiment foot. Oh no, wait, I'm sorry, they actually made it into my reset the timer. There's the fourth regiment of foot. Kill. Want to open up a section of wall? If you guys get hit by one quick line, it is done. Right, coming in, coming back in in numbers. Ah, no, wasn't fast enough. An enemy, so an enemy unit of artillery's come in. So that's just meant they have even fewer enemies that can actually attack us. We could we could entirely sally and push them all away. But you know what? I want to punish the AI for being down. What it does mean is probably going to happen is probably going to fight the battle like this for some time. Although ultimately I might um... Here, what I'm going to do is I'm going to fight this battle off screen because this is going to be very boring for you guys to watch so see you in a second everyone so i actually elected to spice things up a bit i got one of my one of my um units to retreat i mean it's just been a real rinse and repeat slugfest 
But I managed to get one of my units, I wanted to get one of my units off of the wall, so I ended up getting them broken. So what ended up happening was we got to call in a general. So this general allows us to go in and attack some of the other enemy gunners. And it looks like they are going to capture the gate, which if they do, that's okay. And I don't mind losing this general. Towards the end of the campaign, you get quite... You get quite uh, accepting of losing generals. So now they brought in some dragoons to help out. These men are bravely holding the gate, however, they are not expected to. So now they should be able to bring in more, because ultimately what ended up happening was they brought in even more artillery. So there were so few units on the actual field, it just got... Even at, even at time pressure, it got boring. Let's have at it. Might be a call, actually. Yeah, you'll be okay where you are. Uh, my general's bodyguard are out because they come in from over here, which was super. It was so. I mean, rather than running them around, you know what? Let's just go for it. Let that general get away. They're about to make a different breach with this artillery that's just come in from the back of the map. So this section is going to go down. Delicia. Push you guys. See, so he came back. He came back. And these gunners are actually going to try chasing after him. Womp womp. We lost the gatehouse. Char suicide charge into the last gunner over here. So that section is that collapsed yet? Imminently. We've still only got 17 minutes left, so I would wager things are not going to go the way they wished. I don't mind they capture the gate. So yep, you can come into city any way you like. shooting at there we go he's got that artillery here comes some enemy infantry let's keep him over here somewhere if he lures any troops after him they'll run around past these walls and get shot with ribbons broke. Not a bad outcome. It might mean we get some other decent cavalry as well. But as it is, right now we're in a bit of a stalemate. Oh yeah, this unit's fighting off. <laughs> Can they not get to him? Leave your gun, man. Leave your gun. No, they can't get to him. By the looks of it, for reasons. Oh, it's because he's it's technically on like the, the damaged, the destroyed part of the wall. And he's not going to break and run, because everything else is generally quite good. Okay, let's not let my heavy cavalry get so easily chewed up. Militia! Oop, one second, sneeze.
Apologies. You men get over here. Speed men in for the maelstrom. Yeah, they are chasing me. Attack the militia. You need more men than that. Especially if some of you are going to choose to not come up the walls for reason or reasons unknown. Cavalry. More fool you. Just see if we can shatter them. No, sadly not. Okay, let's bring you over here so that if they do chase after us, which the AI has a habit of doing. Okay, you might just choose to fire at will with round shot, just keep shooting. It's not going to make much of a difference because I don't think they've necessarily got the stomach to push the attack forward. And if they do try and chase after me, then what's going to end up happening is... Uh, these guys are going to run around here and then get shot to pieces by these men as they mount the fire step. That's kind of part of the, the benefit of being able to trick the AI. So they're going to go... Oh, they're going to open up the gates. The 8th Regiment. I mean, I'm definitely going to be killing my own gen my own uh, commander in a minute. So as they advance towards this unit now, all these guys fire down into them. Whereas if on my this infantry was here, they'd be firing into the back of my line. All these guys. Scampering around, they don't know what to do. You broke from the fire from other units. Considering this guy hasn't run away yet, and there's only one of him, and there's 334 of you, that's really quite impressive. Speed up time, form up. Yeah, the 12th Regiment are coming in. Frantically trying to load his musket. My own conscripts are opening him up. But so are my infantry with fire by rank. Oh, the colours were high, but not anymore. They have fallen. Sticking around, 51% damage, 94% damage. So you're, you guys are probably gonna get a hole knocked inside of you. Seven minutes left. That's. I mean, they weren't gonna do it before. They're definitely not gonna do it now. See the see, and now this conscript unit suddenly gone away. Down a minute. Get back in the very house that you were terrified of. Although some of them are now stuck on the wall. So. There goes that. Okay, who's next? I think they're the only unit, the only unit that can really try. They are electing to 
and salt the wall instead. Which I get. But there's still speed up times. It's five minutes to go. Nothing's gonna. Nothing important's gonna really happen. It's just these guys getting chewed up. They don't have they don't have bayonets. My conscripts that do have bayonets actually become reasonably dangerous opponents in melee. Yeah, but they're going to route through our army. See, now my howitzers here are actually more at risk now. They're going to pivot and engage the enemy artillery. A lot of horses, because all the dragoons have dismounted. Which isn't a terrible decision from the AI. Ooh, one last assault. Dragoons at the ready. Oh, propelled the dragoons back. Infantry are trying again. There's more dragoons? They are more dragoons. My commander's finally been shot in the back of the head. The head of my infantry. Trying to engage my conscripts in the armory. They are loading and firing in good time. Drive them back. There we go, my howitzers. How are you doing? Are you actually knocking any guns out? Yeah, not bad. An errant cannonball from them could easily take out all of my, my entire battery. And again, we're, our howitzers aren't slouches either. But who's what's left? 46 seconds. I wouldn't sit there if I were you. That's not going to win you the battle. Nah, let's scooch forward. These men, oh, they finally killed my men up on the wall. Either that or he died from being shot in the back by friendly forces, but... Yeah. Yeah, that was destined to be a drawn-out, not super awesome battle. But uh, the enemy took an awful lot of losses as a result of that. It might make Rome ripe for the attack afterwards. Pueblo nations want peace, but they're not going to get it. The Americans are fortifying their lines. They're at Gridden University at Charleston. We're in the Charleston Territory, not at Charleston. Rifled cannons. Good. New town emerges. Ogre in Courland. New port emerges. Puerto Cabello. Upgrade the trading port. Build a sloop. New port emerges. Puerto Bello in Panama. Just build a trade port. We may end up fighting Juan Diaz. More naval construction. Well, more naval recruitment's ongoing. I can see it all. Can you guys leave now? No. Uh, Edinburgh. Domenico Beretti. Avanti per il paese. Let's get get your army deposited in Normandy. In 
Okay, I might have to move. You really didn't want to move, so let's get these, these ships into there. There we go. You really wanted to get into that. Get into um, Brest. Right. Got to Glasgow. Gunnery School in Madrid. You continue your march. Iron Masters works in Spain. Upgrade the port. Wait till we get to Lisbon first. Lower Louisiana. We get a new port. An awful lot of upgrades. Okay, now we're out of Lisbon. Upgrade, upgrade, upgrade. New Foundland in cloth mill the farms in Montreal. Right, so. Giovanni Mocca can leave Port Royal and position effectively ready to advance up the inland road towards Cherokee territory. You back to garrison the port. And here, you know what I mean? You, this was a pirate capital, so can they? Now they will not tolerate. They will not tolerate being ungarrisoned. You can position up threat. You're probably going to combine your troops. Again, I'm not a massive fan of the native African infantry. They're just not not very good compared to line and colonial line. I mean, if you're if you're sh short on cash, then, then they're probably okay. But if you're not, then all right, go for Texas. But looking at the timer. I believe it's time to end the episode. So, thanks for watching, guys. Hope you've enjoyed. And we'll see you next time for the capture of Texas. Cheers, everyone.